young age of 19, Mr. Speaker, I called on my supporters not to take revenge from an institution based on the actions of an individual. And Mr. Speaker, the Pakistan People's Party's motto was that democracy is the best revenge. When, when the supporters of the Pakistan People's Party so raw with emotion, so full of anger, that they were demanding that they were demanding the breakup of Pakistan. There were slogans that we do not want Pakistan. After burying my mother's body, Sadr Asif Zardari said, Ke Pakistan khape. We want Pakistan. Janabi Speaker, we have fa faced some of the worst examples of authoritarianism. We've experienced some of the worst examples of authoritarianism. But we have never, ever, ever gone outside the domain of the Constitution of Pakistan. It is, it is indeed a moment, moment of pain for many, many Pakistanis. It is a moment of pain for every peace-loving, democratic, patriotic Pakistani. What we have seen play out before our eyes over the last couple of days. I want to not only apologize to our guests, but I want to apologize to the people of Pakistan. They do not deserve this. The people of Pakistan who are facing some of the toughest economic challenges that we've experienced in our history, whose real issue, whose real worry is how are they going to get their next meal, have been held hostage by the politics of a few populists, a few anarchists, and while the people of Pakistan have stood up to every dictator, and the people of Pakistan have experienced every military dictator and faced them head on, I have full faith in the people of Pakistan that they will face every fascist head on, they will face any so-called, so-called politician who resorts to violence. We are the maker of laws, Mr. Speaker. Whether I like it or not, the laws that are passed by this House are made by the, people, by the people's representatives. And while we are used to military dictators breaking our laws, military dictators breaking our Constitution, this is the first time we are witnessing a former prime minister, a man who sat in that chair, who represented this house, who represented this country, resort to violence, break the laws of the land, break the constitution of the land. And we've got to this day, Mr. Speaker, because you and I have been too reconciliatory. You know, in, 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 at the time of the vote of no confidence, when the Prime Minister, the President, and the Deputy Speaker violated the Constitution of Pakistan, we thought we would, we thought that it would be perceived as political victimization if those who, bro who had broken the Constitution had been tried for breaking the Constitution, and so we did nothing. When those who were caught by their own party members 
receiving foreign funding to conduct their politics, when the constitution and law of Pakistan allowed that you ban any political party who, in, who is a foreign funded political party, we were worried that it would be perceived as political victimization and we did nothing. When an individual resisted arrest and a few officers reached his house to present him with his arrest warrant, he turned the city of Lahore into a war zone. We did nothing for we feared to be perceived as conducting political victimization. We have allowed every single red line to be broken one after another. We have given carte blanche to certain political parties to do as they like. But Mr. Speaker, today our constitution, our law is not being challenged by any military dictator. Our constitution, our law, is being challenged by a narrow populist, a fascist, a political party that has decided to take up arms against the state of Pakistan. And Mr. Speaker, I want to guarantee you and our guests standing before us here today that just as the Pakistan People's Party has resisted every single military dictator in our history, we will resist the populace of today. And just as the people of Pakistan have resisted every military dictator in our history, they will resist the populist authoritarian of today. We must all act together, Mr. Speaker, to preserve and protect the Constitution and its laws in good times and in bad. And we have full faith in you, in this House, in our Constitution, and in our people, that we shall overcome. I appreciate you, your office, the chairperson of uh, the uh, International Cons Constitutional Committee, and all, on all our esteemed guests here today. Pakistan, Zindabad.